Bruchim Abayim. Thank you, everybody, for making the effort to come out. And a good morning to you all. My name is Chaim Shimon Neuberger. I'm the National Director of Term Besorah. And it is our incredible schus and really gives a framework for what we're doing here this whole weekend is that we have the schus of having all these Rosh Hashivas take out of their very, very important and busy schedule to come to the Deal Long Branch community, be mechazek, each of you, and be mechazek, Terem Meser. It's an incredible honor that the Nakash family agreed to open their house and invite you all in to Debre Bracha and Chizuk from all these Eine Ha'eda, the ones who lead us every day. And I just want to finish before I introduce the Novominsk Rebbe to give some Debre Bracha is that this was my first opportunity to spend a weekend in the uh, Deal Long Branch community. And my personal hargasha is that we in the Ashkenazi world have a lot to learn from each and every one of you. The incredible ahava that you show to Tamidi Chacham and Metarabanim is something so special and something that I am Metz Hashem will internalize and take home with me from this weekend. So thank you on a personal note for that. And as a covet to ask the Novomitsky Rebbe, who came in all the way from, from uh, where his yeshiva camp is in Connecticut, to grace us and to give us the Vibrocha. Rishus, the Rosh Hashiva Baltimore, and the Zikne Rosh Hashivas, the Lakewood Rosh Hashiva, all the Choshiva Rabbonim that are sitting here, in Kol HaKol HaKodesh Hazer. This is, for me also, a first to be in this community and see the tremendous Avas Torah and Yerashomayim that Achenu Altsois Hamir, Yoitse Altsois Hamizrach demonstrate the tremendous Erlichkeit to call Dovisha Bekdusha. A voice I, we're here to, we're here to be Mechazek the Moisit Kodesh of Torah and Mesoira that was founded by Gedoli Yisrael, Agon Rabban Kotler, Zechon and Levroche, with Rab Fayvu Mendelovitch, to perpetuate Torah by Klal Yisrael. The name Torah and Mesoira has a specific meaning. The Biskir of his Sefer tells us that besides the mitzvah, that every father has to learn with his children. And even though we give over that shlichus to melamdem others, there's a special mitzvah to perpetuate the mesoira of Matan Torah. The psukim that we say in Kriya Shema every single day, is that there's a special chiyuv to continue to remember Torah and to give it over to our Talmidim, to others, and to make sure that that tradition continues from Matan Torah till Im Yetz Hashem, when Mashiach will come. This is, this is what, lie, what was behind the founding of this Heilige Holy organization of Torah Mesoira, and that's what we're all here to help and support. I'm sure this has a specific chashivas in this tzibur that emphasizes Mesoira and what was being given over from generation to generation. The Rabbinah Shalodim should all give you Hatzlocha 
in Bayusha bin Iskayim, the bracha of Baruch Hashem Yokim as Divrei HaToyra Hazois. We are all Shutfim in being Mekayim, the Mesoira, in continuing the legacy of Matan Toira till the Matzev, till the Zman, when we will see the Heshiv Leiv Ovois Albonim, the Leiv Bonim Alavoisom, and the Rabbi Nishalom should give us all Hatzloche and Brocha, Yemale Hashem, called Mishalis Levavcha Letoiva. We would like to ask the Baltimore Shiva Rabbi Feldman to give us three brothers. Okay. I'd like to begin first of all with the Yashukar to the Balach Sanye for hosting this event. May his house be filled with Baracha, Vatzlacha, Vachomasi Yadav. And I'd like to say a welcome to the guests who came here today to participate and to support to Amsova. The Gemara says that the world stands Hevel PM The world stands on the breath of the children who learn Torah. That's the main, that's what keeps the world going. So Mari asks the question, what about, what about Ba'eva Rava, what about the, the Torah of the, of the Amoraim and the Gemara, what about their Torah? Doesn't the world stand on their breath of Torah? No, Mari says no. The breath of the Torah of children who learn Torah is more important. The Hevopim, the breath of children who learn Torah, is more important than the breath of the Torah of those who learn Torah. Very, very difficult to understand that the Torah of children that learn Alphabet and learn Chumash, uh, learn elementary elementary subjects in Torah should be more important than the Torah of Amoraim, who transmitted all, all of Torah Shabbat Peh to the Jewish people. How could the Torah of children be more important? The explanation is, I believe the Maral says this, that the, the Torah of children is not just Torah that they teach, that they learn, like the Torah of grown-ups. Their Torah creates a different type of person. A person, a child who grows up with Torah, grows up with the feeling that Torah is part of his life. It's not something added to him. When you learn Torah, when you're an adult, you are already a grown person, and the Torah is added to you. But when you learn Torah when you're a child, the Torah becomes part of you. You don't think of life, that life can exist without Torah. It's part of, your, part of your personality, part of your essence is Torah. That, the Klal Yisrael has that part of it, which is which, where Torah is part of its personality, part of its growth, part of its essence, is something which keeps the Jewish people alive. Without the Torah of Tenukh Shabbat Rabban, Without the Torah of children, for whom Torah is part of their essence, the Jewish people cannot continue. That's why the world stands on the Torah of children. And because the world cannot exist without Torah. Without Torah, there is no purpose to humanity, to the whole world. Without Torah, Reshit. The Torah is created because of Reshit, and Reshit means Torah. 
So without Torah, the world can exist. And without Hevel P.M. Shotino Gotcho Bet Rabban, Torah will not continue in Kual Yisrael. So we are here at an event which celebrates and which is hoping to support the, the, the engine that draws the thousand schools across America which teach Torah to Tinokot Shobet Rabban. What an enormous responsibility there is in this organization and what an enormous responsibility it does it, for us to support this, this engine of Torah for all of Klau Yisrael in America. So it's, we're creating a nation that grows up with Torah as part of its essence. Therefore, we have to recognize the importance of our support and the importance of Torah and Surah. And we should all be zocheh. And that's root of supporting Torah and Surah. We should be, we should be zocheh to, be, to, to incorporating the Torah into our lives and the lives of our children and the lives of our families. And Be'ez Hashem, we should be zocheh to the light of Torah, which brings Kedusha to Kol Ha'am Yisrael. And we should be zocheh bekarov, malah ha'oretz de'a kamayim le'yam ha'chasim. The world should become filled with Torah, like, like the river, like the sea is filled with water. And Be'ez Hashem, we should be zocheh to Agula shleima bekarov yamein. Amen. We're now going to ask Lakewood Rosh Hashiva, Rav Malkil Kotler, to give us the Bracha. Bishus, Bishut, the later on here, Bishut, the Malachsanya, all the Choshva, Kola and Sophim, all those gathered together and called the Torah. Not much to add to what the Shiva and the Rabbi said already. We find in the Pasha and the Shirat Haba'ir, the Rachaim, the Bulagoyan, they say it's a, it's a Shira on the Torah. And the Goyan explains that when we're talking about the Torah, how we have the Torah, you mention Karu and the That means that. The supporters of Torah are part of the Shira that we have, the Torah. We have people that brought us the Torah, Mashabenu, Tamlichachamim, that teach us the Torah. We have the supporters of the Torah. That's part of the Shira. We find in the Pashat Balotcha, the Pasuk says, El Muf Neha Menorah Yeiru Shivat Anirot, that the, the Menorah. The, the six candles of the menorah are pointing towards the ner and soy, the, 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 the middle candle, which is the ikra menorah. If you look at the chazal, it comes out that the ner and soy is pointing towards the Kodesh Kadosh, which means to say that all the Klai soul is pulling, is the Imam Sheikh is taking the Torah, taking the Ora Torah. And then I'm sorry, and then I'm sorry, and then middle, the middle candle is taking the Ora Torah from the Kodesh HaKadashim. So the Sipun explains that the candles on the right side represent those that are sitting and learning, my meaning. The candles on the left side is Bismarck Elisha and Chavid, are the people that are supporting the Torah. And that connects them and makes them one. And from both of them together comes out of Ora Torah to Klai Yisrael. But the Pasuk says, Ye'iru Shivat Anirot. All seven Anirot. There's one light that comes out from all seven Anirot. There's an Erem Soi. There's always the middle. There's the Gdel Yisrael, the Tamil Chachamim. There's the Erem Soi. Which everybody takes their light from those. And then there's an idea of those that support both sides, that they bring the Ora Torah to Klal Yisrael, 
Torah Masayra, it's like the Nair Hamsoi. It's the Nair of bringing the Ayat to all the Klai Yisrael. How did they do it? They bring the Ayat to the Lemda Torah, to the Rabbein, to the schools. And it brings the Ayat to the Nadivim. And the Nadivim, everyone gets together and everyone supports it and becomes one big light, a light of all seven layers together. That's Torah Masayra. Torah Masayra is there to be the center of Chinuch, the center of bringing together the light of the Rebbein, the light of the schools, the light of the Tamchim, to make one big light, and through that, me, from all of them together, is the Skal law that comes out in Kwadik Shapach for the Rebbeinish That's when the Shvach of the Torah we mention the Nadivim also, because it's one big light that comes from all of them. So it came together to be Mechazik Torah Masayra. Torah is the, almost the backbone of Chinuch in this whole country, all over. They are the backbone of the Chinuch in day schools, the backbone of the Chinuch in Chadorim, Bishakovs, Imach Siv Shechadorim. Everybody takes from, from Torah Masayra, Torah Masayra is the support system for all of them. So supporting Torah Masayra is supporting the Torah of all of Klal Yisrael. But Hashem should help that with this gathering that's there to be Muhammad the Torah and to understand the importance of having such an organization of Torah Masayra. From this chizuk, we should see the burning light of the Torah when the Mashiach comes Amen. Amen. It's really very humbling to me to, I'm not worthy to stand on this uh, podium amongst the giants of our generation. I just want everybody, first and foremost, first of all, a very uh, special thank you. We owe gratitude to Rabbi and Mrs. Nakash for opening up their home. <laughs> and we've been fortunate to have been in this home many, many times for uh, very special and holy events, and I'm sure this is not the last time we'll be here. Mitzrat Hashem, they should always see Beracha and everything that they do, them, their children, grandchildren, for many years to come. Amen. Amen. We're very fortunate today. I wasn't planning on speaking, but we are very, very fortunate t- today to be amongst the greatest Gedolim of our generation. And Baruch Hashem, I can say I grew up in the community and it's really, it's really something to learn from our community, the, the, the kavod, the respect that they show to the Gidolim. It's not something that existed 30 years ago when I was a young boy, the way that it is now. And I believe that the, the biracha of our community, the success, the unity, all comes from the kavod that we show to the Gidolim here in America and in Eretz Yisrael as well. And Bezrat Hashem, we should continue and to grow in the ways of the Torah and Mitzvot for many years to come. Just a word on Torah Masora, an organization I've gotten to know quite well over the last couple of years, but more so the last couple of months. We all value Chinuch for our children, and the Baruch Hashem, there are many yeshivot in the community, all different types, all different, that cater to all different backgrounds, and I've been to their office a few times the last few months, and what you see behind the scenes is really unbelievable. Rabbi Holland said something very, very key that I think it's worth repeating. When one eats in a restaurant, you see the menu, the waiter brings you the food, you sit down and you eat. You don't really go in the kitchen and see what's happening behind the scenes. Torah Masora is really doing all their work in the kitchen. When we go to the yeshivot, we put our children in the yeshivot, we see teachers, we see rabbis, we see uh, uh, administration, but behind the scenes, in the kitchen, so to speak, of every yeshiva, there's so much that goes on in developing a curriculum, in training the teachers, in setting them on the right path for our children. It's not easy, you know, you know we, we, we pay the bill, the tuition bill, 
But there's so much that goes on with the yeshivot and with Torah Masora that really, really, I'm going to say, builds up the yeshivot to what they are today. And they're doing this not for the last few years. They're doing this, I don't know how long, almost 100 years. And they have, from what I understand, close to 1,000 yeshivot that really cater to their services. And it's important to mention that their national headquarters, their, their main office is right in our backyard, not, not here in Deal, but on Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, on Ocean Parkway, on Forster Avenue. So we're really very, very lucky to have them. I've spoken to teachers personally that go and, and they make it their destination. Uh, uh, somebody told me recently, they, start, they, had, they were moved from to, to be a third grade teacher to a fourth grade teacher, and okay, we think, okay, what's the difference? I'm teaching eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds. No, it's very, very different. The way you have to give over Megillat Esther, or give over the different uh, halachot for the holidays. It's not as simple as we laymen seem to think, let alone if you go from fourth grade to sixth grade. And somebody else told me something very interesting, that when it comes to secular subjects, it's endless. The country, uh, uh, there's so many resources for it. But when it comes to Limudei Kodesh, there's only one destination, one address here in America, and that is Tor Masora. So we all owe them a tremendous amount of Hakarat Tov then I believe that the growth of the yeshivot and our community in the last 30 years or so is very, very largely due to their credit. So I think we should all give them a round of applause for all the work that they do. And Rezat Hashem will continue to grow Mechai Lechal for many years to come. We all are here for a, obviously they have a large budget, now getting to the details. Torah to do what they do, you know, every, every uh, car needs an engine. And uh, we, they come to, out to us, to our community, to help put gas into the tank and to fuel that engine. So they've been working very diligently. I've been working, I've, I've had the zahut to work alongside them the last couple of months, like I said, but more so obviously the last week. So Baruch Hashem, our community is very, very generous. And uh, I'm gonna start off the fundraising and read some of the pledges that we just got in the last few days. Victor Saada, thank you very much, $18,000. Eddie S., special thank you, he's been hosting Rav Ruben Feinstein the last three years, also increasing his pledge to $18,000. Isaac Eshkenazi, $18,000. Yaakov Mishan, $18,000. Harry Ajmi, $10,000. An anonymous pledge of $10,000. Ray Haber, $12,000. Jack Shama, $10,000. Ronnie Ajmi, $18,000. Ike Levy, $5,000. Nathan Hoffman, $5,400. Joey Senton, $8,800. Yaakov Mishan, I'm not sure if I said this, $18,000 as well. The Yadid family, $10,000. Elliot Franco, $10,000. Eddie Mizrahi, $1,800. David Escava, $1,800. Carrie Sutton, $1,000. Sammy Baton, $1,000. Michael Antar, $1,000. Sammy Sit, $1,000 as well. If anybody is interested in giving a pledge, please don't be shy. I'm here asking everybody if anybody would like to contribute. Is there anybody that would like to contribute right now? Do you have any more? You can see me, you can come, you can mention it now, or you can go see the gentleman in the back by the table. Uh, ladies, we do take credit cards, Apple Pay, all that uh, is, uh, is, is uh, welcome and recommended. And if anybody would like to do anything, please see me right away, or please see anybody that's walking around helping. Again, we want to thank Torah Masora for arranging such a special <laughs> Shabbat of Kinuch here in Deal. And Bezrat Hashem will continue to... Uh, to grow and continue to uh, blossom our relationship with them for many years, Bezat Hashem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Perfect.
All right, that's a wrap.